Okay, let's get started. Um, here we have a simple HTML page with a div containing some static text. Um, hello world. So and over here you see we've got our hello world. Uh, most people would recognize um, right away what was going on here. Um, and all is well as long as this stays static. Uh, but once we want to make the text within the div dynamic, that is, um, we want to bind it to an external source, well, that's when things start to get a little messy. Um, we'll take a look at how we might do this in simple JavaScript, uh, then we'll look at jQuery, and finally we'll look at AngularJS. Uh, so let's take a look at uh, JavaScript. So here's how we might do this in JavaScript. Um, we have our, within our body tag, we have an onload um, handler here, um, the function init, and we've defined it up here in the script block. And we went ahead and defined two variables, input and output, and we used the familiar get element by ID to um, find those elements, and we've already set the ID on those elements here. Um, we've got the div as the output, and we set up uh, in this init function an on key up function, an event handler. And within that event handler, we set the output inner HTML property to this being um, the input handler's value, what the user has typed in. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, so here we go. And this is a test. So you see it's updating the div as we enter it into the text box. So this is kind of typically what we would have done years ago. Um, with just regular old JavaScript. Um, now let's turn our attention to jQuery. jQuery has given us a lot of advancements in terms of manipulating the DOM. And let's take a look at how we do the same thing in jQuery. OK, the first thing we want to do in jQuery is we want to include the jQuery library, which I've done here. Um, we want to create a script block. And then on the when the page is ready, we're going to go ahead and create a couple local variables. And we've got the shorthand notation for finding the DOM element, getting a reference to it. We've uh, created an ID for each of these, the input and the div, um, the, uh, the text box and the div for our output. And we've created a key up event handler on input here. And when this gets called, we just say output.txt. And we're going we're gonna to send in the input.val. And so this is how this might be done in, in uh, jQuery. We'll go ahead and run this, and I'll show you. Um, OK, same thing. It works just fine. Now let's take a look at uh, Angular and see how this would be done in Angular. Um, I went ahead and included Angular via a direct link to Google APIs. And um, so we've got that. Let me mention this. This is how we bootstrap uh, Angular in. And um, so it's able to hook itself in. We've got our input tag. And here, where you, where you see, our, we're defining a model. We're creating a model, and we're giving it a name, input. And then we just simply reference that model within brackets here, which uh, allows us to data bind directly from the text uh, box model to the output of the div here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we're going to run, and this does the same thing. Okay. So let's go back and compare these. So let's compare the original HTML. Relatively simple, and Angular is really not that much more complex. We did have to define the include here. But in terms of the input and the div, it's very much similar. Uh, someone understanding HTML would probably understand what was going on here. They would understand there's a model named input, and it looks like the data model is being reflected into the div here. So um, it seems like Angular is a lot more, um, it abstracts a lot more for us. And, um, some would say that's good, some would say it's bad. If you don't, of course, if you don't understand what it's going to do, you know, it's more of a black box, but it does take care of uh, a lot of the kind of mundane chores that you normally have uh, related to, to data binding like these. I mean, this um, is not really that readily apparent when you first look at it. You have to kind of understand what's going on here 
um, to really understand that, that the data here is being bound down into here. And um, so I think I, I, because of that, I like the way Angular works. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much.